Hello, praise the Lord. I'm so glad that you paused to hear this message and I'm really happy to meet you through this message. I would uh, recommend that you open your heart and hear this message. It's not just enough that we be an empty Christian, my dear friend, but we have to have a real, a real vibrant, close, intimate relationship with God. Hear, hear the message. Praise the Lord. Turn the Bible with me to Hebrews chapter 11 verse 23. By faith Moses when he was born was hid three months of his parents because they saw he was a proper child and they were not afraid of the king's commandment. In these two lines you know we can see some amazing truths for our life and I, uh, and I title this message as put the basket in the river. Put the basket in the river. Hallelujah. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid for three months by his parents because they saw, saw that the child was beautiful. But the Bible says, if you read, uh, you know, Exodus chapter 2, verse 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, there you read that yes. the parents, the mother, was not able to hide her child. And so she puts him into the basket and, and, and places the basket in the river. Hallelujah. And here we see another beautiful thing. They were not afraid of the king's commandments. Can we give God a mighty hand of praise? Hallelujah. To the second book of Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 says, God has not given us a spirit of uh, fear, but he has given us a spirit of love, power, and sound mind. Hallelujah. They were not afraid of the king's commandments. You know, after three months, there came a time that they were not able to protect the baby Moses. Hallelujah. For three months, she was holding on to the baby. She was not able to give up the baby. The king wanted to kill the baby. There was so much of problems around her. She was surrounded by enemies. The enemies were attacked her family the enemies were attacking the little baby and the king wanted to kill all the baby below two years and she tried to protect the baby for three months but the Bible says she was not able to do it after three months so she surrendered the baby she put him on Nile River put the basket on the Nile River and let it go I want to tell you something here when we read this uh, uh, incident in the Bible we read the entire episode how Pharaoh's daughter she comes just during that time and you know the, the Bible says beautifully listen to me properly the, the, the Pharaoh's daughter's maids were also there and they were also coming around the river but the God opens the eyes of the Pharaoh's daughter to spot the baby. Nobody, the maids did not see, but she saw the baby and she opened the basket and she saw that he was so beautiful and because he was drawn out from the water, she names him Moses. Just watch the hand of God in all this entire thing. What are you afraid for, friend? What are you afraid? I saw the love of God when I read this too, I actually read Hebrews chapter 11 verse 23. I did not read the book of Exodus. My Bible portion for that day was from the book of Hebrew. And through this two lines, uh, I got an amazing truth that he is our fortress. He is our refuge. He is our shield. He is our everlasting arms. He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. He is always with us. Hallelujah. Wow, what a comfort it is to know that God was with Moses from the beginning. And in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 33, the Moses, you know, the last few lines of the book of Deuteronomy, we see, he says, he is my everlasting refuge. He, his arms protected me. Those were the words of Moses. Hallelujah. Those were the last words of Moses in, the, in, in, in his ministry. Those were amazing words from a man who tasted God. Who, who, I think he would have heard you know, many stories from his mom. And, and his mother would have told him how you know she would have she would have uh, she would have not only you know whispered about the about God and his mighty works but she would have whispered about you know his protection and he, and when he and he would have heard about his story and he had a first hand testimony that God was a shelter and his refuge hallelujah you know some of us you know i want to tell you you know your your parents or the dear father mother i'm speaking with you right now you can protect your baby only for a certain period <laughs> 
The Moses mother was able to protect the child only for three months. But after three months, she was not able to do it. So she wholeheartedly surrendered the baby into the hands of God. Likewise, uh, we should not lean on to our own understanding in dealing with our life, uh, in dealing with our future, in dealing with our marriage, about our children, yeah, our finances, our business, everything. We just got to, you know, the way she just put him on the Nile River. That's why I titled this message, Put the Basket in the River. What are you holding on? What is that basket that you're holding on in your life? What is that? Do you have your own agenda? Do you have your own agenda? God calls that strange fire. Hallelujah. God, God you know, told Aaron, you, your son should not bring strange fire. Don't bring strange fire. Strange fire will not be accepted by God. What is that basket? Hallelujah. What is that basket that you're holding? Do you have your own plans for your marriage? Do you have your own plans for your future? God says, put it there in the, in the river and I will take it. When you surrender, he says, what am I asking you? I'm asking you to wholeheartedly love me. Love me wholeheartedly. Love me. You know, with your whole mind, with your soul and everything, love me. And surrender yourself and then I will take care of you. God did protect Moses and he was, you know, in an awesome way we can see, you know, God taking care of his life. And, and one more thing that I understood, you know, from this uh, scripture is that, that there is a period of loneliness in our life. There is a period. We just cannot, you know, escape it. There are people after divorce, immediately they get into a relationship they get into another relationship and if, if that doesn't work out they get into another relationship and so they have a string of you know failures in their life a relation affair after affair affair after affair, boyfriend girlfriend you know that their, their life is filled with relationships and 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 in the bargain what happens is their heart you know is broken into million pieces with all the failures and betrayals and all those things but God says there is a period that you have to go you have to be silent we read that in the book of Ecclesiastes world chapter 3 we, the Bible it says there is a period that you have to be silent there is a time that you have to speak there is a time that you have to mourn there is a time that you have to dance you have to know the will of God in your life discernment and just accept it between the period of being divorced and finding the right person again you got to just, you know, surrender yourself. It's going to be terrible. I tell you, it's going to be terrible. We say, see that in the life of Moses. Hallelujah. We see him for 40 years. He was alone in the desert. We see that, you know, for 13 years, uh, Joseph was alone in the prison. We see that Ruth, after she lives, uh, leaves Moab, and when she comes to Bethlehem, there was a period of loneliness in her life where she had to just be with her mother-in-law before she formed the Boaz in her life. Likewise, there is a period of loneliness in our life. Be it ministry, we should not just jump. We should not just lean on to our own understanding, manipulate and do things on our own. Go take a loan from the bank. Go do this, go do that. And get into a mess. That's where we get into a mess. If you have to go without a car, go without a car. If there is a time to buy your own home, then wait for it. To buy your own apartment, to, buy, to invest in it, wait for it. If you have to just go on the bike, go. If you have to go walking, go. Take it, accept it. That's what I learned from this message. Accept it. There's a time that he has to be just thrown into the river. But when you wholeheartedly surrender, that's what the good news is. The Bible says she did not, she did not fear the commandments of the king, but she feared the commandments of the Lord. And that's why God saw that heart and that's why he blessed her. He sent, you know, he, didn't, did, did, he did not send an ordinary person from the river. The baby Moses was carried to the palace. Can you give God a mighty hand of praise? Trust him. The mother was able to take, hide the baby only for three months. And the rest of the time, God took care of Moses. God bless you.